once Teddy Roosevelt became president in 1900, he is going to alter the policy, the foreign policy of the United States a bit. He's going to use what's referred to sometimes as a uh, big stick policy. And the big stick policy just means that uh, it's an old African proverb that Roosevelt liked that said, um, speak softly, but carry a big stick. In other words, you're going to ask nicely for what you want, and then you're just going to take it if you don't get it. And he's going to use the big stick policy, especially uh, in Latin American territories. And what that means is using military force to realize U.S. foreign policy gains. Uh, so if we wanted something, we we're just going to take it. A lot of this is based on Roosevelt's pro-imperialist ideology, where he saw the world in terms of good and evil. Uh, and in his case, the Americans were good, and these non-white populations that uh, were in Latin America were not good. Uh, he wanted to civilize savage peoples uh, through his pro-imperialist big stick policy. The best example of this is probably the Panama Canal controversy. Uh, the United States wanted the Panama Canal, which was uh, going to be cut through the Isthmus of Panama. It's a uh, uh, five or six miles wide where the Atlantic and the Pacific get close to each other. They're going to dig a ditch through Panama. Uh, the United States offered to buy this canal zone from Colombia, which controlled this isthmus of, of Panama. Colombia refused the deal. They didn't want to give up this territory. Uh, so Teddy Roosevelt sent emissaries to Panama, which uh, they wanted their independence, the Panamanians that were living there, uh, and encouraged a revolution. And the United States went, supported that revolution, which led to quick Panamanian independence. Speak softly. We asked nicely once. And then the United States is going to support a revolution. We used the big stick to get what we wanted. It's a great example of this policy. Now, the United States uh, gets the canal zone. It's going to be leased from the Panamanians uh, for 99 years, uh, which uh, it reverted back to Panamanian control, I think, in the late 90s. Uh, early 2000s. Uh, and uh, what this does is cut ocean travel times in half. So that great white fleet now can get around the world a lot faster uh, and also helps reduce shipping costs for those East Coast countries trying to get to those Asian markets.